the mom and the baby. And there's the mom. And there's the mom. Where did the baby go? Oh, behind that tree. Up and behind the tree. Up. Right there. Hmm. And we can hear the male. He's up there. But the, this is this is our kitchen, so this is what we get to see. Let me just back up for a sec. This is what we see. This is our kitchen view. Come through a little elk trail right here that they walked on. All the way across. It's quite neat. And I think the bull is up where that one is. He's, he's close, but elk are neat. You get to see them all the time here in Yubo. Never gets tiring. Oh, there's a little baby bum right there. Little baby bum. Oh, there's the bull. Right there. He's looking over his harem right now. Yes, sir. They don't, it, I mean, seriously, it does not get old, people. I'm just gonna pause you in on it. right here. Big old bull up there. Hopefully he bugles here. Daddy, mommy, baby. I want to hear him bugle. Kimmers went up to the back 40 and did a walk, and as she was walking, she stumbled upon this guy right here, and he grunted at her, and she turned around and came home. <laughs> I see you staring at me. Nice to hear him bugle on this one. That's one. Now he's going up to chase him away because this is his harem, don't you know?
as fast as you can see them, they're gone and they just blend in so well. You can kind of see his bum right there. But you can hear them crashing out there, that's for sure. Definitely don't muck up out when they're uh, in the rut, so we give them their wide berth because I'm not dancing with a 1,300 pound animal that has a coat rack that's three feet each way. So, anyways, hope everybody's having a safe and blessed day. Another day in Yubo. Stay safe, stay blessed, see you on the next one.